Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery in our video studio today with an exciting new product we wanted to tell you about. This is the Zero C1 Pro from Garmin. It's a chronograph. And this chronograph is gonna be, you're gonna be able to use it with either firearms or with archery. We are Lancaster Archery, so what I'm gonna talk about is its applications as an archery tool. You can go on Garmin's website and learn about all the firearms uses of it. I'm talking about archery. So, to start, I mean, look how small this thing is. This thing is tiny. It weighs nothing. You can carry it in your pocket, backpack, whatever. It's got this little tripod that comes with it. However, as I'm gonna tell you, for archery, you're gonna wanna take this off. Um, but it's weatherproof. You can use it inside, you can use it outside, wherever you want. Uh, just a super handy device. And I've put it through the paces and it does everything Garmin says. So, archery use, let's talk about that. So as I mentioned, you're gonna have quarter 20 threaded receiver on the bottom there. That's pretty standard. Um, basically any tripod that you're gonna have out there will have the attachment for that. Um, now, why I say tripod. So for archery, what Garmin recommends is that you have, is that you shoot over top of this with a bow. With a firearm, it's a little different. With a bow, they recommend you shoot over top of it and that you be within five to 15 inches over top of it. So what I discovered in my testing was it works best if you mount this on a tripod and raise it so that you're shooting level. In other words, what you don't want to do is have it low to the ground and then try to get that five to 15 inches because once you started aiming down, I started seeing some inconsistencies in numbers. However, when I raised it up so I could shoot level over top of it, then it was working fine for me. Um, now, in the, the printed instructions that are gonna come with this device, they're gonna tell you, it's gonna state in there that you should have a minimum of 20 yards behind the device to the target. That's for firearms. When you go to the online instructions, it tells you you need a minimum of four yards for archery. However, what I'll tell you is if you can back that up a little bit, if you can get like eight, nine, 10 yards, you're gonna get better, more consistent readouts from this. This device uses radar. It's not like the old chronographs that we're used to where you're shooting through two bands of light. This one uses radar. So if you can get it backed up just a little bit so that it has more distance to read, what I found is I got better, more consistent data at about like eight to 10 yards. That was where I was getting some good readouts. But how it operates, gonna have your buttons on top here. We're just gonna hit power, turn that on. And this is gonna be your first screen. New session, history settings. One thing I will tell you for bow hunters especially, you're gonna to wanna to start out, go down to settings, click on that, and then scroll down here to pro settings. Gonna to wanna to click on that, and then projectile weight entry. You can see I have that turned on. When it comes from the factory, that's gonna be turned off. Click that on and then it will allow you to enter your arrow weight so that you can get kinetic energy as well. Um, so just something good there uh, to get some extra info. But let's go back up here. So we're gonna start a new session. And I want you to watch how easy this is to start. So pistol, bow, air rifle, other, we want bow. Click on that. Now here's where I would add my arrow weight. There you can see that screen. You're ready to go. I have this mounted on my tripod. Now I can just shoot over top of it and it's gonna give me, uh, it's gonna tell me what the speeds are. Now we can go back here and we'll see, you're gonna click it. at the end of a session, you click end session. Okay, so then when we go back through our history, you're gonna have, you can see here, I took three shots. So let's take a look at that. I can go in, um, session summary, it's gonna give you how many shots, what was the average, 
uh, standard deviation, but let's go down and look at the shot list. And there I can see each one of my shots that I took. Um, now, what I will tell you is there is also an app. And the directions that you're going to get with this device will tell you how to get to the app. And it's basically going to have all of this information, all the information that's on the device, it'll have on the app that will allow you to clear some data if you need to. But so here is a session that I did yesterday and you can see 273.1.4.5. Then I have a 280 and a 287. Okay. That's where I was shooting at an angle. My data was not as consistent, but you can see otherwise, once I figured out, Hey, I need to hold this, I need to shoot level. Um, I never got more than one foot variance. I mean, this thing was 0 0.9, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.1. I was all within that 273 feet per second range. Uh, that's how accurate this thing is. So it is super precise. Uh, but then, like I said, you know, just figuring out how to get that consistent data, shooting level, being back about eight to 10 yards, that's going to give you the best uh, numbers that you're going to get. Um, but, you know, there are other features and settings in there that you can go through. But I wanted to show you how fast and easy it is to set this up just to get a speed. You know, there's lots of things you can do with the data. But, hey, I want to know how fast this bow shoots. Literally, it takes you like two minutes to get this thing set up and to get that number. Super handy, like we said, stick that in your pocket, in a backpack, weatherproof. You can shoot indoors, you can shoot outdoors. This thing is super incredible, nice and small and compact. In the box, what you're gonna get besides the tripod and the device, you are gonna get a charge cord. It's gonna be USB type C on one end that goes into the device, standard USB that you're gonna plug in. I charged it on my computer. And I've been using it for two days. It used hardly any battery life. I think it said you can use it for about six hours at constant use, which who does that? Um, so you charge this thing, point being, it's going to last a while. So that is the Garmin Zero C1 Pro. Great new handy compact chronograph, again, for firearms and archery. We like the archery applications for it, uh, but just a super handy device to have in your pack. If you want to see the Zero C1 Pro on our website, be sure to click the link in the description below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.